what is the most astounding fact you can share with us about the universe? The most astounding fact is that the universe is in us, is the knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. All right, folks, we are in Yellowstone National Park. I'm here at the West Yellowstone entrance, um, just picking up my permit. Today, we are hiking down into old seven mile hole uh it's up on the north rim of the canyon they call it the grand canyon of yellowstone it's a four and a half mile hike along the north rim down in the canyon camping right on the river i've never backpacked in this area i have no idea what it looks like or what it entails but i just talked with the ranger he did say that there has been uh, recent bear activity in the area so so that's a little unnerving but we will keep our eyes open and excited, excited to see this part of Yellowstone. Let's go. Guys, here is the new kicks. Solomon Speed Crosses. Boom. Love these babies. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up, many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars.
Uh, it looks like we made it to the canyon rim. Starting to walk down, starting the descent. Um, it is way down here. I think I think I said it's about 1,500 feet over a couple miles. Oh, weather is starting to roll in. Uh, big clouds. Um, hearing some thunder booming in the distance. So it'd be nice if I could get to camp and get that tent set up before it gets too crazy. Did you hear that? Boom. But so far it's been a pretty pleasant hike. So as I started coming down as well, I started to smell the, that sulfur smell is strong. So there is definitely some thermal features around here. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes open for that too. So I don't know if that came across in the video or not, but that was the most beautiful rainbow. It just came out, the sun came out behind us and it just made this beautiful rainbow over this valley. Just so spectacular. You just never know what you're gonna get out here. Right in the middle of the trail. Look at this. I'm not sure what this is. Hot, yeah, that's hot. So Yellowstone is actually a giant super volcano. And I think that's kind of what makes it so cool. There's so much geothermal activity going on around here. Uh, it's really what separates itself from most of these other national parks. It's a pretty wild environment. Um, it's actually pretty unnerving. If you actually start to think about it a little bit, uh, just walking around as you sleep, knowing you're on top of a giant massive volcano that could go at any time you know it probably won't for a long long time but uh 
the curb. Nothing like waking up to the smell of sulfur. That's how it goes when you're camping in Yellowstone. Mm. Uh, let's get some coffee, get this day going. But the amazing thing is that every atom in your body came from a star that exploded. And the atoms in your left hand probably came from a different star than your right hand. It really is the most poetic thing I know about physics. You are all stardust. You couldn't be here if stars hadn't exploded because the elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron, all the things that matter for evolution weren't created at the beginning of time. They're created in the nuclear furnaces of stars and the only way they can get into your body is if the stars were kind enough to explode. Guys, we're getting out of here. The rain's setting in. It's not going away. So we're going to break down camp. We're going to hike up out of this canyon. It's not going to be pretty, so nobody wants to see that. Um, but Yellowstone, absolutely fantastic. Spectacular views. The thermal features, um, the way Yellowstone sets up their campsites with the thermal features is so cool. It's such a unique camping experience. So absolutely love Seven Mile Hole. Um, I will be back for sure. Anybody's interested in the, the steps for the soul, little trinkets for your shoes, let me know. Uh, send me an email at stepsforthesoul at gmail.com. And we can get you your own little shoe trinket, Steps for the Soul. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Stay in touch. Got lots coming up this summer, okay? And that's about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the message. And we will catch you on the next video. Thanks for joining.